Hello, this is Thunderbird Daily. Today I want to answer a question about add-on compatibility with the current version of Thunderbird, which is version 128. You may still be running Thunderbird 115 or an even older version, and you may ask yourself, will my add-ons be working in the latest version? Here's an easy way how to check this. Go to Thunderbird Add-ons Manager, Add-ons and Themes, enter add-on compatibility in the search box and then install the add-on compatibility check for Thunderbird 102, 115 and 128. So this is basically designed to check in your current version whether your add-ons are ready for the next version of Thunderbird. I think it supports Thunderbird versions back to version 78 and it looks for compatibility with 102 from there and then if you have 102 installed is it compatible with 115 and if you have 115 installed 128 so this goes successively through the annual versions so i'm going to click add to thunderbird and then i'm clicking add on the permissions pop-up here we go and it adds a new button to the toolbar you can see it may take a while to check but it will give you a an icon which is either going to be a green check mark or a red X. And when you click it, it will list all your currently installed and activated plugins and whether they are compatible with the next version. So here I'm in 115. And you can see my add ons, quick folders, and quick filters, for instance, are compatible to up to 130. That's a, a beta version. So it's definitely compatible with the current release of 128. Smart Templates is compatible with 131 and Filter Quiller with 128. So we are definitely in the green here and we are able to update to Thunderbird 128 without losing any of our add-ons. So I could check here in help about Thunderbird. You can see there is an update queued and I could click the update button. But usually with a big update, an annual update from 115 to 128, I would usually do a safety backup of the profile. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So before we actually convert our profile, it's a good idea and a good practice to make a backup of our previous profile in case we do need to roll back. So we're going to the help section and we're going to troubleshooting information. And from here, we have a folder called the profile folder that contains all our emails, our add-ons and all our settings. So profile folder and there's open folder which is a local drive. When we click open folder we'll see all the data that's in the current profile. That includes all the mail, IMAP and pop mail, calendar data, extensions and settings. Everything. So if we want to back up the profile we just back up this complete folder. But we have to make sure to close down Thunderbird first because Thunderbird may keep some files open and then we may not succeed in copying the files intact. So finally, we can start Thunderbird again. Okay, and, and now that we have backed up the profile, we can go to the About Thunderbird and do the update. Click on update to 128.2.3 ASR, which is the current version. It'll download a completely new installer file. Applying the update. And then click on restart. <clears throat> Takes a moment to load everything. It takes a moment to load everything, but as you can see, all my add-ons are back, so I'm happy. Uh, it can, however, happen sometimes that uh, Thunderbird gets it wrong and thinks that uh, uh, add-ons need to be updated. This can happen when you update from a much older version of Thunderbird. Let's say you update from 102 to 128. So in that case, sometimes Thunderbird will report that there's no available updates. Your add-on may be disabled and it shows there's no available updates, but this is actually incorrect. This 
is caused by a mechanism where when we create a completely new version of our add-on that's not backwards compatible, sometimes Thunderbird will simply not see the updated version, the new branch on the ATN website. And in that case, we have to download it manually or force the update. I will show you how. You can basically reinstall the add-on and then it will work. You will basically see a message like this, um, that there's no available add-ons for that it, the add-on it seems to be not compatible with Thunderbird 128. So the way to work around that is go to Add-ons Manager again. So go to Add-ons and Themes. And then just type the name of the add-on that's reported as incompatible. And it will still be listed. And then just click Add to Thunderbird. So you force to install over. And click Add. And it will install the latest version and it will work. If that's still not working for you, you can download the add-on with the web browser and install it that way. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I hope to see you again when I'm describing more features and functions of my latest add-ons. Happy mailing!